Hey, what's up, guys? Jinpei Sidi here, and welcome back a new tutorial. So, in today's tutorial, we are going to create some glossy text with some nice uh, lights. We can see lights, these glowing lights, right? This on and off, and this movie. So, I got the concept from Video Hive, and I see a template, and I try to recreate that. And here is my result. All right. So, let's take a final look what we are going to create today. so i hope you like this i got many comments for making tutorial so i'm going to make a tutorial by the way if i could not made any tutorials till 25th so merry christmas from my side and a lot of wishes happy wishes start with a new project so make sure you are using 16 bit at least 16 bit not if you don't want to use 32 uh, switch press alt and switch it to 16 bit so make a new comp and this is my resolution so i am going to switch to 872 and 24 frames and duration let's put it here because we can adjust it also later so rename this rename this layer i mean comp glossy right so new let's type text glossy right so align this go to the align tab and align this in center and if you don't if you're not seeing this align tab you can parent it anywhere but if you are not seeing this go to the window and here is a uh, align so you can just check it right so this text look good but if you need more good looking so let's switch to anyone yeah this one this one i love it all right so we can see the font here right so let's move on and you can increase the size a little bit so at least 180 and it does not make more sense because we can increase the text inside after effect uh, i mean element 3d also so make a new solid and rename this element 3d or just type e3d and uh, i am just pressing control space on my keyboard and here is a uh, fx console definitely fx console from video copilot so let's type saver oh uh, sorry i mean element 3d all right and go to the custom layer custom text and mask and here choose our logo glossy our text glossy right and the uh, element 3d setup created like this and i'm using version 2.2.2 and click on the extrude button and here you can see your text glossy right so looks good here is some happening you can see so let me fix it so, all right so go to the bevels and just hide this grid first right so come down here and go to the expand as in and down this like this right so looking good 
and <clears throat> go mm, go to the bevel backward and just checking and bevel curves you can just play with the bevels also so here is the bevel you can see all right so bevel depth you can increase definitely if you want and if you don't want you can so i'm putting this and press here six and bevel curves at least like this right so this look good all right and now let's go select this text and this is our font face i mean front face all right and select this model and go down the surface option and just check optimize image all right so let's duplicate this model but first let's down the extrude so select the uh, a wall and just down the extrude at least 0.3 yeah good that's enough let's create a one more bevel so bevel 2 and this is bevel 2 so let just e enable the bevel back back side and g offset first down the extrude point 3 and g offset like just touch all right like this that's it you can also play with expand edges so down this almost good and also bevel segment 7 and bevel depth little bit increase and also bevel curves increase a little bit so so almost like this right so now let's duplicate this and put down at least here the back right and this is back face and let's duplicate one more time and this will be middle and in this one let's increase the extrude 5 i mean 4 let's see 2 3 let's see to 2 Uh, two is good and go to the front face all right so we created uh, <clears throat> a text just look like this right all right so go to the physical material and apply a chrome material to the front right and also apply this chrome material here and also here right and a black material choose a metal and any black material just like this one apply it here and you can also choose this material to here all right so just uncheck the draft textures so we can see textures correctly and go every text and go to the UV mapping option and choose to box repeat and press 3 by 3 same for this one 3 by 3 and same for this one all right 
and all good now the next topic is creating a material for this object all right so here is problem so first apply chrome material here and the black material here now it's okay and looks good right so now i'm going to create uh, the glowing material for this this glowing texture for this material right so hit okay and check this text control s to save your project it's so important so this is a glossy text and create a new comp and this will be a square comp 1080 by 1080 the same frame rate and just create a new solid and this will be our fractal apply a fractal noise effect all right and go to the blocks block i mean block and go to the basic and here choose the dynamic all right and brightness down like this and just apply a effect called this find edges so you can see so let's switch to invert or uh, you can see the scale the transform like this so you can see right and uh, if i and the find is is you can just check in word all right switch to the full resolution so you can see and you can uh, just play with this setting and you can increase or decrease right so i am just i am going with this one right so now let's import a course effect uh -oh. so let's delete this and let's apply a course effect and let's increase this go to the red channel and if you need a red material so just increase the red channel ever and turn little bit of uh, blue channel and turn all the way down blue material so you can see something and just play with the material so you can find a result right so i love this one now it's time to animate it so here is two option if you want to animate it with sound so you can definitely just parent the audio reactor value with this scale so it will be boom 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 like this but if you want to make with opacity you can definitely uh, just press t and parent this opacity value with the audio reactor value and this will be on if on and off with audio with animation so go to the evaluation and just press add and click on the stopwatch and just time add expression time star to 45 so this will be move so switch to the half so you can see correctly this is moving but this is moving just of one place and i want what let me show you what so you can definitely play with rotation if you want but i'm not so zero and one more option is here offset turbulence so this will be moved like this or this will be moved like this right complexity put one so you can just have a less this item less boxes or item and press two so you can definitely choose with your choice so this is 20 is this enough so four and five and six so let's switch to the five this is a less uh, not too much right so let's just click on the offset turbulence and go to at least 30 seconds and just move this position like this and press n so let's see 
so if you can see this is moving like this let's go down to the glossy comp and just import our texture so let's rename this texture and go to the element 3d custom layer i mean custom texture ma maps and choose the our texture go to the scene setup and now let's select the bevel option here all right and go down and go to the diffuse and just load our texture all right you can see and this looks good all right but this is looking flat you can see so let me make it glossy so come down and go to the advanced option and here is a blending mode normal and switch to the screen all right so you can see this look all the way great all right and in any case if if you don't happy with this long extrusion you can decrease it but i want long all right so let's leave it here and create a new plane and rotate it like this and scale this all the way up so we can have a room so we can animate it make it two side frames so we can see better where is the plane right so this position is good i think right so select the plane and apply a very dark material so metal and i'm going to choose this one and same for the plane so go to the uv mapping and box and repeat or you can choose the x z and increase it to maybe 8 by 8 all right so looks good and go to the the select this uh, plane again and go to the reflect mode and choose the mode mirror surface so now you can see we have uh, also a reflection of our text almost here and go to the text also and go to the reflection mode and go to the mirror uh, spherical and also for this one is spherical and also for this one is spherical right and if i switch to the environment and this lights from here single light so you can just change the light anytime you can see go to the cinema light so go to the scene material and go to the plane material and make it a little bit dark like this and you can definitely make with color any color if you want like yellow and all those things if you want right so i'm going to make something like dark bluish type right like this type hit okay and this looks good right so hit okay there is a less step left so create a new camera and 35 not i'm using 80 millimeter very wide lens wide camera for our final work so let's import a null object and make it 3 press f4 or just toggle switch here like this and parent our camera to the null right so we'll just add a keyframe with nulls you can got it right so let's zoom it right let's control z let's zoom it let's rotate it all right so the almost we and and now we need to add the glossiness right 
so this is too glossy so go once again to the scene setup and add a great i mean the environment because we are going to animate our environment so let's switch this one and let's switch this one so this is colorful right and if you don't want so go down to the environment and turn down the saturation all the way down so we need only black and white right you can see only black and white so this looks good for now and we can definitely change it also later but for now this looks good so hit ok control s to save this and go just add some go to the render setting and go to the physical environment and here is rotation environment so add a keyframe on the all rotation x y and z and go at least 15 second let me switch to the 15 16 second and just make it two times two times and two times just switch to the one and one and one right and just an entry come to work area so press u go down very beginning and press 0 and 0 and 0 so now we keyed a uh, key out our element uh, i mean environment and the environment will move you can see all right the environment is moving but we can add just add two two times all the environment two times so you can see right so control s save this and go to the scene setup once again so just uh, do and if you have any problem so go and change that so select this chrome material right and go to the glossiness and here put 90 because we don't need any sharp right we need little bit blurry little bit blurry so this looks good right so hit ok control s to save this and now go to the render setting and go to the ambient occlusion and enable ambient occlusion but use ray traced because it's create more fur go to the scene setup once again and the uh, plane material we need a little bit like this if you if we want like this right so we can see the uh, back plane also for that i just so right looks good now the next step is once again to the element 3d layer and here go here the middle face and the bevel where our glow item and go down and here is an option called illumination let me see where is it yeah here illumination so here is the option called use diffuse color so check it and make it 100 percent right and just close ok now let's duplicate this and just check this and go to the output and composition and go to the illumination all right we created something like this so just create a curse effect so make it little bit like this and just go to the effect console and add exposure like this and go and apply glow make it like this oh, like this and just duplicate this layer and once again duplicate 
and duplicate one more time four times I made four times right and go to the blending mode and switch to the add so now we can see the glowing material right and if you need any other environment you can make it so switch to the full render and just uh, add some animation right let's add camera animation so switch to the draft and let's add camera animation and switch to the quarter just we can move faster for that i just make it made it so let's go to the here very beginning and just add a proper camera angle like this like this and go to the null layer and just press R and just X rotation this is X rotation right so Just add 35 here and go to the um, almost 3 second and make it 0. Right? So select this key and go to the keyframe assistant and easy is in. Right? So let's see the animation. So we can see this is moving like this. Right? So control less and less add three or four more so i'm going to skip this so just select it and cut it here and duplicate it and, and just reset both things transform and reset Alright, so you can see, so all animation done, right? So now it's time to just add depth of field. So go to the main element 3D layer and switch to the preview mode, and here switch to the half. Right, so our test is something like this without. depth of fill so when we will add depth of fill this will look more good right so go to the camera one and just add depth of fill on press double a and just reveal the camera properties and just depth of fill on and here is just some setting you need to change for good looking depth of fill so aperture i use 245 and the blur i will add 200 yeah, de and definitely it will take a lot time in rendering but switch and the focus distance uh, i will choose to 1100 let's see switch to the 1000 right and this will be something around like here right i need here that also all right so but you can see this is uh, a lot saturated so i mean the glow so go down the curves and just uncheck the curves and let's see the result oh my god <laughs> this looks too bright so this is good and we will just add a hue and saturation in the last and we'll just fix it there right so now the step is adding depth of field so first just add your camera and go down to the depth of field 
and just this is moving so we will just uh, move our depth of field focus distance also the first we just add focus distance key here this will be here and in very very beginning this will be almost 200 so the our work is that i mean our final text will first in very blurry and then it will be reveal like this and let's just move some few frames and see the result if you not happy just change the radius so i'm going to this one i change 1100 so this will our focus distance also travel so it will make it cool right so this one completed now let's move on the second one Uh, right and switch to the full resolution so let's see this correctly and the ambient occlusion we can see this looks not good so go to the render setting ambient occlusion and the ray trace and here we will change some settings so ray trace gamma 1.4 and the maximum distance 145 so good and you can definitely add some light but i don't want that's why i'm not using any light and just uh, add a normal preview and if you're not happy with your result you can go and change the camera angle and if you're not happy with our environment so you can definitely change our environment also so here i will just put one this look almost good and if you're not happy with your text you can go and change the text also right so this time let's stop it here and now it's time to preview right but first let's add some color collection so select all these layers and just pre comp and move in a new comp right and let it be loaded you can see it's taking a lot of time right. so let's new adjustment layer and go here and just add add photo filter and if your scene is warm so add a warm and if you see this cool red yellow cyan choose it here so this one i'm just using orange and you can also decrease and increase it here so let's switch to the 25 and go down to the texture here and you can also change the color it here so like this and go down the glossy and you will see the difference here also you can see all right so this is something like gold so this looks good so definitely you can play with here so let me show you one more layer. so let's duplicate this course all right and hide first one and this one let's reset this and this time i need blue all right something around here and go to the green channel and down the green and also down the red channel all right and go to the glossy you can see this looks good so play around this and definitely will see the good result definitely i promise definitely will see the good result so now let's switch it to our final red right i mean gold and this looks good so now let's add one more adjustment layer let's delete it in the final this is not too much so you can 
when you are going to render first C in full resolution also and if you like this look so go let me show you where we'll go go down the pre comp and go to the this this one and just add a one more exposure in the very last let me show you just duplicate this exposure and put down here you can see this is a little bit better than previous one so it's up to you right so i'm like this one right so if you need this one so let's go but add some little bit 0.5 right so this looks good from before all right and one more thing is you can add some particles little bit some minor small particles and everything is done i think and if you need any color collection go here and just add some more color collection so add a curse effect right and this is in red so we'll just pop up little bit of red and go to the green channel and down the green and down all the way add some blue but down it here like this and go to the green channel oh shit go to the green channel and just add so play and you can see what what's going on here and you can see what you need right so before and after a little bit right so this looks good also so all this done and once you complete your render in full resolution so that time you add grain and noise and for when you go to the final render one more thing you can do so go to the element 3d layer and just add some final touches of the this so first um, go to the output and just add enhance multi sampling right and the super sampling too and go to the sampling and aliasing and press here to it will be smooth your edges right and switch to the full render and oh wait Alright, so this is the final result. You can see this look more, more, more terrible. I love this looks. Alright, so the tutorial is finished, and I'm going to render it in half resolution, and after that, I will show you. So I hope you like this tutorial, and if you have any comment, please let down in comment box, and uh, I have. I got some tutorial request and I will definitely try to make them and this one is insane right so I have a lot of work so I have to maintain all things but I'll I'm promise I will definitely try to create your tutorial request which you send me and if I got the look which you want I will definitely post on online so th this is this is it for now and if any time if you want to change the text so just just enable this glossy here and just change it to like uh, what's up switch to the w in capital you will find your text here whatsapp right and you can see and if you need to change the font select this and just go around and this will complete it all right you can see and you can create a very great result with this right so let me put down to here glossy our text right so save it and this is a final result right come down here to see the final so thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me thanks for supporting me also i'm mps ready and we will see you next time with a great tutorial and this is it for now and help me to grow our fat so keep like comment share subscribe 
and do what you want and if you have any problem please 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 message me comment me and mail me so all right for this is this is it for now and we'll see you next time with a great tutorial and i'm i am npcd and we will see you next time with a great tutorial so this is it and i'm going to render it with half resolution right so we'll see the preview all right